Hi, I'm John, coming to you here from Monsoon in Seattle's North Capitol Hill neighborhood. Um, today we're making a, uh, the ubiquitous Bloody Mary. If we're gonna create it from, from scratch, you, uh, yeah, you have a little more freedom to do whatever you want and kind of tailor the taste the way you want it. And, uh, and then you get to experience firsthand how complicated this cocktail can be. So we're gonna use Crater Lake. It's a charcoal filtered, real smooth, um, full body, vodka. It actually spends a little time on oak, so you get uh, a little bit of richness and added flavor from that. A little, little trick here. It's real important with when you're working with tomato juice that you don't shake it. It's called bruising your tomato juice. If you do that, you're going to end up with a watered-down product that has a grainy texture to it. A couple ounces of vodka. All that stuff I've kind of encapsulated into a nice little uh, sauce I've made on and I will share with you what I put in there. There's a little bit of sriracha to add to hot sauce. There's always hot sauce in a Bloody Mary. I've chosen um, you know, a garlicky uh, pepper paste, essentially is what a sriracha is. Also to this, we've got uh, bouillon, a, bouillon, a beef bouillon cube, coriander, that's a whole coriander, whole black pepper. Then I use powdered thyme, cumin, cardamom, garlic powder, celery salt, basil, dillweed, fennel, uh, pinches of each essentially, um, and then added water to it, brought it to a boil, simmered it for 20 minutes and then strained off all the solids. Do whatever you want at home. You make your own batch as complicated or as simple as you'd like. Um, the nice thing about this mix, it's all together. You can keep it in a big bottle and boom. Half of a, uh, half a lemon should yield about a half an ounce of juice, which is standard for this cocktail. Two ounces of vodka. I want about double that for my, uh, my tomato juice. I just want to stir that up. And I'm going to take all that ice that I prepped, fill my glass with it, take my Bloody Mary, and pour it over the top gently. Throw it on there. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of Thai basil in there. And you've got yourself a beautiful, rich Bloody Mary. 